Peter Weber and Kelly Flanagan are sparking lots of conversations after being spotted together more than a year and a half after their breakup. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Blake McHugh, and welcome back to another Shared News Update. Allison Van Dam and I are going to be breaking down the latest get-together, but of course, before we do that, you need to make sure that you have hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss any of our future Bachelor updates because we have got a lot of them, people. And of course, we're going to break down this little meetup. But before we do that, Allison, initial reactions when you heard that they were together. I knew that it couldn't possibly be any sort of like reunion or romance. I mean, we mm -hmm. all remember when Kelly went on the Talking It Out podcast and she had all those statements about how she wants to look up to her spouse and how Peter, you know, didn't have the same qualities that she saw in her brothers and her dad. And that, you know, being with him was just fun and games, basically. So after you say that about someone and after you've come to that conclusion, I don't think you're, you know, itching to get back together with them unless something major and drastic has changed. So because not enough time had gone by, I was like, this is just a coincidence. They're probably just at the same event and people are making it into something more than it actually is. Okay, so we so you saw this and you weren't like shocked or anything like that. You're just thinking coincidental. I think coincidental. Everyone in Bachelor Nation runs in the same circles and I do yeah. not see these two getting back together. Now we could be doing a video in six months time and you're going to have to make me admit on air that I was wrong, but I am putting money down, I don't think they will ever get back together. Okay, so let's explain to the people a little bit about how these two met up, if it was like whether or not it was planned, we have no idea, but here's the deal. So they were both at Wrigley Field in Chicago on Wednesday watching the Cubs take on the Nationals. Fans obviously took pictures of them walking around the stadium together, that they were talking after the game had ended. It is important to note there was no like affection or romance, at least that I saw from the photos, no hand holding, anything like that. They clearly weren't trying to hide their reconnection because they even took a photo together with a fan at one point. I was going to ask you, like, this is this just friendly? There's nothing more going on here. Strictly platonic is kind of like where you're at, Allison. I think it's strictly platonic. I think they, you know, maybe are reestablishing a friendship or at least being friendly um, since it has been, you know, a while since they split. But yeah, I think just friends, I think sometimes going through the Bachelor experience can really bond people. It's almost like a form of trauma bonding that isn't that extreme. Mm -hmm. So I think it makes sense that they're trying to reestablish some sort of, you know, being comfortable with each other, being friendly. But no, I'm with you. I didn't see any sort of chemistry between them. We obviously didn't see yeah. any photos of the handholding of the PDA. So yeah, I think it's just coincidental. And I'm honestly kind of proud of them for not being hush hush, not being weird about it, taking photos with fans. Yeah. I mean, them going to an event like this, they know people are going to recognize them. They know people are going to notice that they're together. They're so talk. good for them for mm -hmm. handling it maturely and kind of just running with it. But yeah, I'm with you. I feel like completely platonic no sort of romance happening right now and you sort of touched on it a little bit about the things that kelly had said in her in the podcast that she went on after they broke up which we're going to get to in just a second but kind of just to give people a background of like their romance basically kelly and peter dated after both of their times on the bachelor obviously once peter ended things with Hannah Ann Sluss and then Madison Pruitt. You know, he had a whole list of women that he went through. They started dating in April of 2020. Now, this is where I'm confused. Did they move in together in New York or did Peter move into Kelly's New York apartment or did they just spend a lot of time together in New York? Yeah, I don't think it was ever super clear. I don't remember seeing yeah. nor were they public with any sort of we're moving in together type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, after they broke up, Peter kind of had his single boy era in New York. I believe he almost kind of had like a sponsorship deal. I remember him posting on Instagram like my lovely new New York apartment, you know, those type of things that I think a lot of yeah. people with followings get for free or at least heavily discounted. So I know he found a place in New York and whether or not, you know, they spent some time together or somewhat lived together. I don't it. remember it ever being official. I think they were still just, mm -hmm. you know, dating, taking their time a little bit. Obviously, he had several women that he had just kind of left in his wake at that point. So, yeah, I'm with you. I don't remember any sort of, you know, official we're moving in together because I'm not sure it ever reached that point yeah. of it being that serious. OK, so that's what I thought. I just knew that they spent a lot of time there. So it was a little bit of a gray area whether or not they were living together. Now, you mentioned this, um, Kelly going on the podcast. I forget you, you said one was, but I forget. was it Chicks in the Office? It was. She went on she the went Talking on About podcast with, yeah, with Mike and Brian is where she 
made mm-hmm. the kind of infamous comments about not looking up to him, you know, not kind of yes. like basically he didn't push her in the way that she would want a spouse to push her. Um, and I sure. remember we discussed this, you know, the day that we actually did our in-person shoot. He obviously is, you know, very renowned and talented at what he does at being a pilot. He's been very successful with that. But I think what she was struggling with is if she's having a tough day or if she's struggling with something in her own life, Mm -hmm. she wants, you know, either a boyfriend or a spouse to be someone that she can turn to, to get advice from, to really push her. And I think that's what she was lacking in Peter. Cause I think it was Mike um, on the podcast even said, you know, well, he's a great pilot. And she said, absolutely he is. But you know, him being a great pilot doesn't really help comfort her at the end of a day or give her great (laughs) advice. So I think that's kind of what she was trying to convey when she did that show. Yeah. Well, and I think it was another podcast and I believe it was Chicks in the Office, but I could be wrong. But basically she had admitted that something had gone on between the two of them. She basically told him to get the hell out of her life, said that their relationship ended really badly. And then Peter didn't really like the press tour, if you will, that Kelly was doing. He did his own interviews, said that what she was doing was calculated. It was disingenuous. So I really felt like it ended on not good terms so i have to say i was actually surprised to see that there was even photos of them together obviously not in a romantic way but even just together in general obviously like uh, you know the time heals all wounds it's been a year and a half now so maybe they've had conversations where they've been able to kind of hash those things out but i didn't think that we would ever get this moment where they'd be I don't know, walking around like this because of how their ending was. Usually when you end badly like this, you don't become friends or cordial afterwards. Totally. And I think it just comes down to, like you said, like the time aspect of it all. I don't think this would have been happening, you know, a year ago by any means, but maybe, you know, they kind of each felt like they said what they needed to say on these podcast tours, got their side out there. And it did feel, you know, a little bit combative or who's going to get the last word at that point. But we haven't heard much from them since we haven't heard a ton over Mm -hmm. the last few months. So maybe it's given them time to feel like, you know what, I said what I need to say about the breakup. I feel like everyone is always, you know, trying to fight to quote unquote, win the breakup. And especially when you're in the public eye, you want people to take your side, you want to be the winner. Um, So maybe they feel like they've said what they needed to say, and that they are ready to move forward. Again, who knows necessarily, like, who asked them to be at this event. This could have been a public, you know, PR thing. This could have been, you know, different brands Mm. wanted them there. So maybe it's more of a work thing than anything else. They might have might have not necessarily had a choice. You know, I doubt they were texting each other being like, you know who I would love to like go to this game with (laughs) my ex. So we really don't know the tiny details behind all of this. But again, I'm just happy that they can be cordial. They can take photos. No one's yelling anything at each other no one's saying i can't look up to you the way i looked up to my dad like so yeah you know time heals all which by the way i maybe people have forgotten this but they kind of have a thing for professional league sporting events because they ran into each other at the super bowl in miami in 2020 that's when peter actually got kelly's number obviously they didn't date start dating until two months later but that's sort of like when the romance took off for them after the show now we have them at an mlb game so is there a world in which we see her kelly get back together you know I mean I was quite adamant about it at the beginning just based on what's being said I really don't think so I mean yeah is this maybe like a step in the right direction sure but it's like you can be nice and friendly with an ex and still understand that like nothing has really changed and you don't want to enter back into that toxic environment I think Kelly has really honestly moved on from a lot of this I think she's moved out of the franchise a lot she doesn't really engage with other people in Bachelor Nation, we don't see her other than those, you know, couple podcasts. We don't see her actively seeking out the spotlight. I think Peter's had a little more issue with that and maybe falling off from being the Bachelor has been more of a transition for him. But I just think they're in such different spots in their lives and they're very different people. So I'm going to stick with my answer and say, no, I don't think that they are going to get back together. And whether they remain friends or not, we'll see. But no, I don't think there's any sort of romantic potential between the two of them at this point i'm with you i need i need to see kelly move on like peter's exes hannah's got the nfl guy madison's got the billionaire family and we need to see we need to see kelly loving up leveling up in that way too but of course we want to know what you guys think okay so there's a few 
Um, does this mean that maybe they're getting back together? Is there some potential? Or do you guys think that this is more of like a publicity PR stunt? Or is it purely coincidental? They happen to just both be at the game. They ran into each other and they had a little chat. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. But of course you do that. Before you do that, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, all of the things so you never miss any of our Bachelor updates. I'm your host, Blake LeMakew with Allison Van Dam. We have loved talking with you guys today. You can see our social media handles on the screen. Drop by, give us a follow and say hello. Hello, and we will see you next time.